Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I dyed my hair, new hair. Who this though? Just kidding. Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys a little first impressions unboxing of the Elsie Cosmetics brush collection. I'm gonna be showing you guys a full face tutorial on how to use the brushes, what they're for, and different ways to use each brush. And yeah, so if you would like to see what these brushes are all about, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys this. Let's start by opening up the box. Hard for the first time I tried to open it. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup with these brushes. I'm gonna try to use almost all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna use, my foundation is done, lips are done. I'm gonna use the F8 brush. And I'm gonna be going into Light Bronzer by Elsie also. Very, it feels very nice. No. Be... Good. Blends nicely. I like using fluffy brushes. Um, to do the bronzer, I feel like it just blends better. Okay, so I like the way this one worked. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go into the F10 brush. I'm just gonna use that to really carve out that contour. Very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Elsie palette, of course. I'm gonna use the E3 brush. I'm gonna go into blank start. I must say these brushes are very, very soft. I'm gonna go into the shade Tone Up. Oh. I'm using the brush E1, which is a, is a fluffy blending brush.
Now I'm gonna go into the E4 brush, which is a smaller blending brush. It's a little pointy also. Start at the outer corner, creating like a V. I should do a cat eye smoky since that's like Lilith's signature look, and I'm guessing that's why she made these awesome brushes the way she did. One of her favorite brushes is a pointed blending brush by Morphe and I'm guessing that's why these brushes are like this, a little pointier. With the same brush, I'm gonna go into in-depth. I'm just gonna use that at the other corner. And today we're not doing a crazy makeup look. This is something I would wear every day, let's say. Nothing crazy. And now I'm going to go into the E5 brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to go into Tone Up again. What I like about this brush, it's like the perfect density. It's not too hard, it's not too soft, and the size is like perfect. Very nice. I'm gonna go into smoked out. No, in depth, actually. Not smoked out. In depth. Now before I put on my eyelashes, I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna finish my eyebrows. I'm gonna use her eyebrow brush in B12. I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Brow Duo in medium brown. See, I changed my hair, but I'm not changing my eyebrows. I've always tried to use the same brow color. Oh, this brush is very um, pointy. I love it.
now I'm gonna go into the E2 brush. Just a flat little brush like this. I'm going to do clean up my eyebrows with it. It's not really a concealer brush. I'm gonna use it like that. To see how it works. Now I'm gonna go into the L13 brush, which is a little eyeliner brush like this. And I'm using this brush because um, I don't wanna do eyeliner, I just want a little darker around my eyes. I'm using the shade Smoked Out. Okay, so I'm gonna be creating like a little liner effect. I'm gonna go into the E5 brush and just smudge that out. Just because I don't really want a harsh line. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the E11 brush, looks like this, little fan brush. So on one side I'm going to use this fan brush and on the other side I'm going to use another brush that would be good for highlighting. So I'm going to go into my highlighter. Okay. So that's one side with this fan brush. And now I'm going to do the other side using the F9 brush. Which is a little fluffy brush like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into my highlight. So I would use this brush if I really want an extreme highlight, like extreme, like look at that, holy crap, I'm going to have to match the other side. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, now my eyelashes are on. So, I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara. You guys can use any mascara. I'm going to go on my lower lash line. So I'm going to let this mascara set a little. Okay. And that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed these brushes. I definitely think they're higher end brushes. They're very similar to some of the Smith brushes that I've used. I love them. 
and I think these are gonna be one of my best brushes I'm gonna be using so I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to follow me on all my social media pages I hope you guys like my new look also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.